I'm drunk, but it's my birthday and I just felt like I needed to get that out there. Don't fucking have kids. I love you so much and do what's best for you. Don't have kids. That one is coping hard. It's sad. Drunk TikToking on your birthday day. about not having kids. Women love telling lies to themselves and everyone else, in particular, men. Modern women claim that they don't want to have kids because that's some sort of patriarchal and systematic oppression of women. But look, when women are lonely in their apartment and the good men are paired with younger, more agreeable chicks, it's time for self-deception. Other women out there fulfilled their biological role and have hubbies and beautiful kids, but these childless women affirm that their cats are like their babies. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but a woman can't give birth to a cat. Seriously, at the end of the day, women can say whatever they want and justify themselves, but they crave the company of masculine men. The problem? They prefer their stupid ideologies over being happy. Check this out. 8 out of 10 women who are childless didn't intend to be childless. It's called involuntary childlessness. Around about 10% of women are physically incapable of having kids for a variety of reasons. 10% said that they actually didn't intend to have children, and that leaves a whopping 4 out of 5 who didn't have children due to life circumstances. That's the most common reason for it, and the most common life circumstance is leaving it too late to find a partner and then have kids. You break through that fertility window on the other side. These women who get into their 40s, who always intended to have a family, who realize that they now can't, they go to support groups and these women are grieving for families that they never had, which is just brutal. Like to think that you can grieve for something that didn't occur. So deep down, they wanted to have kids, right? But as you can tell, they prefer the approval of the feminist movement rather than their genuine happiness. Talk about being real and living your truth. Wow, they live a massive lie indeed. In today's video, we're diving deep into women's regrets after hitting the wall and how much they cover up their grief over not having kids and husbands. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Johnny Vegas. He said, Women wanting a guy who makes six figures goes way beyond wanting a guy who can provide. They want to obtain an extravagant lifestyle and live in nice homes, drive a nice car, and have expensive purses through his paycheck. They want a Disney princess lifestyle. Spot on. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5 for that comment of the day. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. I will tell you at our vault conference, we had with a couple thousand people there, business owners, entrepreneurs. I challenge everybody to go do a certain questionnaire the first night and the next day come and share their breakthrough with everybody. While I'm going through everyone, a lady sitting right here, like seven rows right there, she gets up and she says, Patrick, I have to tell you my breakthrough last night. I said, what is it? She said, for the last 20 years, all I've been trying to do is compete against men to prove that I can make as much money as they make. I'm strong, I don't need them, I'm independent. I run a very successful salon, I do very well for myself. Everybody that works with me makes great money. I'm very, very you know, successful right now. To my friends, to my peers. I said, okay, and where are you going with this? What's wrong with that? She said, the breakthrough I have yesterday is men are not the enemy. I want a husband. I want to get married. I want to have a family. Men are the enemy, but hey, when it's convenient, these modern women utilize men without batting an eye. This is not a joke though. Modern women have been brainwashed in an unprecedented manner. The entire male gender is somehow the enemy. Everything that has to do with masculinity is toxic, and according to feminists, a female-run world would be better than the patriarchy. The result? Hookup culture, body counts as high as the sky, and the erosion of the family unit. That which made America and other countries amazing places has been destroyed, all in the name of feminism and the you-go-girl lifestyle. Let's break this whole thing down, but before we do so, hit that like button and show us some love in the comments. 
Life's changing priorities make women regret their past mistakes, and even though most of these women are being warned of their poor choices, they stumble upon a shocking event. I mean, imagine this, a paradox performed by some women who, at different stages of life, make decisions seemingly at odds with their ultimate quest for stability and commitment. This is insane, and these women tend to make the same mistakes and repeat the same patterns. Some women navigate through a series of transient and fleeting connections, engaging in casual encounters with multiple partners. You know, the classic getting ran through by multiple men. Feminism said it was all for the sake of knowing themselves more. However, the plot thickens when these same women later seek solace in settling down with what's often called a nice guy. This cuck is the man expected to overlook past indiscretions, becoming a beacon of stability despite the lingering shadows of unresolved mistakes, such as exes and contacts that modern women have on the back burner. The ebb and flow of happiness at distinct life stages reveal intriguing questions. Despite the rallying cries of the female liberation movement and the seemingly carefree embrace of casual relationships, modern women end up regretting all their dirty pasts. The pursuit of immediate thrills and the adrenaline rush of unconventional lifestyles quietly makes way for a yearning for loyal, committed partners. It's like wanting to live a healthy lifestyle after a life filled with drugs, alcohol, and other substances. It's irreversible, especially because these women never go to therapy. The storyline of these women tries to challenge societal expectations and confront the internal conflict between short-term pleasures and the enduring pursuit of genuine connections. As shocking as it sounds, that's what's going on in the world. Modern women crave a stable family, a hubby, and beautiful kids, but in order to adhere to the doctrine of feminism, they go out there, hook up like sluts without getting paid, and then find themselves lonely in their 30s, the 40s, and beyond. Check this out. It is time. Whatever. If you want to be alone at 40 on TikTok with your 10, 12 cats, go ahead and do that. For the rest of you women that understand that, you know, maybe, maybe that's not ideal because it looks crazy. May I recommend marriage to you? Hi. Let's dive deeper into the twists and turns of life's changing priorities. Picture this. Some women, at different points in their lives, make choices that might seem a bit confusing especially when it comes to what they say about men and having kids. In today's world, there's a group of women proudly shouting from the rooftops that they don't need no man in their lives and that having kids is so last century. It's like they're on a mission to challenge what's considered normal. And you know what? Good for them. But here's where it gets interesting. As life goes on, these women, who once boldly rejected traditional norms, find themselves secretly craving companionship. It's like they're saying, wait, Maybe I do want someone to share my life with. The independence they celebrated takes a backseat to a quieter desire for shared moments and meaningful connections. However, they don't express the desire to not offend the so-called sisterhood. Now, here's the twist. While many guys are totally up for companionship, they might find it a bit tricky to connect with a woman who's embraced an unlikable vibe. It's like a puzzle. This woman, wanting a connection, faces a bit of a challenge because her earlier declarations of independence might have unintentionally made her less appealing to most men. And on top of that, there are high body counts, bad behaviors, and overall, women who are not even trained to be wives. Here's where the story takes a strange turn. Unable to find common ground with potential human partners, this post-wall woman might just find herself in the company of cats. Yes, those really independent companions become her buddies, offering comfort without all the human relationship drama. At the end of the day, whether they like it or not, women are designed to nurture. All that feminism has done to the minds of modern women is indoctrination. They prefer catering to a failed ideology over choosing good men who would provide and protect. Then, when these women are lonely, the only company they have are cats and other pets. And I already see all the investors out there rubbing their hands, getting ready to cash in for the next few years. But you know what's even funnier? 
Look, the excuses modern women come up with to justify their single lady lifestyle are insane. They always talk about independence, doing whatever they want and living on their terms, but are those terms really theirs? Not at all. Why? Because corporations and governments profit from this like crazy. At the end of the day, this is the market fellas, and the quote unquote filthy capitalists make a whole lot of money. First, if there's no family unit, men and women have different houses, so there you have more consumption. Then, through wages, the government makes way more tax money, and even tricks the upcoming generations into one, being feminists, and two, rejecting masculinity. No wonder why this is a difficult time created by weak men. If you know, you know. Now, let's check an article that, once again, proves how artificial the modern woman's mindset is. They need to use the media to justify themselves. Wow, isn't that so fair, right? I quote, Women are happier without children or a spouse, says happiness expert. Behavioral scientist Paul Dolan says traditional markers of success no longer apply. <laughs> wow, this is insane. Happiness expert? Who the hell said this is a job? If I identified as the hottest man on the face of the planet, trust me, everyone would call me delusional. But it looks like it's fine to call yourself a happiness expert. Look, to me, as a happiness expert, I can confirm that dealing with modern women is a recipe for unhappiness and frustration. I mean, this guy, Paul Dolan, claims that women can achieve happiness by saying goodbye to the old traditions of having a family and not sleeping around. Forget the traditional path to contentment, kids, partners, and all that jazz, because our happiness expert insists that a different route, basically the single lady slash whole lifestyle, is the secret sauce. Now, that's sad, <laughs> let's read the article. We may have suspected it already, but now the science backs it up. Unmarried and childless women are the happiest subgroup in the population, and they're more likely to live longer than their married and child-rearing peers, according to a leading expert in happiness. Speaking at the Hay Festival on Saturday, Paul Dolan, a professor of behavioral science at the London School of Economics, said the latest evidence showed that the traditional markers used to measure success did not correlate with happiness, particularly marriage and raising children. We do have some good longitudinal data following the same people over time, but I'm going to do a massive disservice to that science and just say, if you're a man, you should probably get married. If you're a woman, don't bother. Look, this is nuts. It's the other way around, not because the manosphere made it up, but because it's the reality. Men don't get married anymore because of divorce, and women want to marry because they get lots of benefits by signing the divorce contract. It's amazing how these quote-unquote experts say all this stupid crap and even get sponsored by universities. No wonder why many men don't even want to go to college. That's not education, that's indoctrination. But anyway, I don't want to go off topic that much. These fake authorities love switching things up a lot, and if the manosphere gets stronger by the day, it's because of people like this, I'm telling you. Let's keep on reading. Men benefited from marriage because they calmed down, he said. You take less risks, you earn more money at work, and you live a little longer. She, on the other hand, has to put up with that and die sooner than if she never married. The healthiest and happiest population subgroup are women who never married or had children, he said. Again, it's the other way around, but it looks like it's fine for the simp to say otherwise. Here's something that most people don't get. Men are way more capable of being lonely than women. Is this some sort of conspiracy? Hell no. When men go through breakups, more often than not, they don't have a side chick or backup plan in place. Men are super loyal to their women, but women can easily end a relationship and move on to a new dude in a matter of hours. <laughs> yes sir, they can open a dating app or even post provocative pics on social media. Trust me, lots of men will swipe right or even worse, hit her up in the DMs to tell her how hot she is. Right there fellas, these women have a buffet of men at their fingertips. The vultures are hanging out there cause they're patiently waiting for their turn to get in her pants. Do any of those men want to marry her? No. But hey, at least women have the reassurance that there's dozens of men willing to smash with her. Now here's another point. This guy, Paul Dolan, is really misinforming. Women who have no kids and never have a man by their side can't live longer for a simple reason. They feel miserable. Women love companionship, and if they don't get a man to stand by their side, they'll happily adopt a cat, a dog, or even multiple pets. 
Plus, unmarried and childless women can't be the healthiest and happiest. All the box wine subscriptions are, for the most part, purchased by women. They spend their nights alone, wishing for a man to desire them and tell them how beautiful they are. But no, the wall has no mercy, and the men who approach them are looking for sex, not for relationships, let alone marriage. Abby said something in this episode that particularly struck me. She told the other female panelists and the viewers, we live in a society that wants you broke, single and childless and your $49.99 donation of apathy just adds to that. Ask these women where they see themselves in five years, professionally and personally. Ask these women where they see themselves in five years, professionally and personally. For myself, hopefully I will have two biological children, one adopted child and I'll be raising them, which is just as valuable as if I got a PhD or if I was making six figures. It matters just as much, and for me personally, it matters more. She continued to highlight that this is indeed a real problem. It's reflected in our fertility rates that show that here in the UK, 50.1% of women are childless by age 30. The bottom line is that women, most of the time, make decisions out of emotions and not logic. Modern women might know for a fact that they're miserable because they only get hookups and not a husband, yet their intentions are firm. They're more into belonging to the sisterhood rather than being happy with the man and beautiful kids. Women, as much as they don't confess it, love marriage, not only because of ripping off men, but because they get the status of being married. Being a single lady in their 30s is not a badge of honor. It's a sign that no man desires them for marriage, but only for some quick action. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.